Welcome to Medicine Monster! For those of you who are new to my channel, please like, comment, share, subscribe, put on those notifications, all that great stuff. And for those who are returning, my family, my family, my family, thank you guys for coming back once again for another healthcare topic. So last week's video, we talked about the pre-med track, right? I gave you guys some tips on how to, you know, move forward when it comes to wanting to enter the health field. And a lot of you guys actually reached out to me and I'm so, so happy that you did. I had a great conversation with a couple of people last week from across the country. And I was just so excited to realize that people are actually like viewing my content and recognizing that they can relate to it. And so I'm so happy and pleased Please guys, like I said, I'm a resource, don't feel afraid. I'm here for you guys. And so this week's topic, we're gonna continue on with the whole pre-med track and talk about internships. A lot of you is wondering what type of internship should I do to stand out? And I'm gonna talk about my favorite internship um, at Well Cornell Medical College that I did junior year of college. Such an amazing experience. Well Cornell Medical College is a great medical school in New York City, Upper East Side. <laughs> And it was just such a great time. But before I get into that, I just wanted to share to you guys a couple of internships if you're in the pre-health field that you should consider doing and your time during college. Okay, so we have volunteering. You know, volunteering experiences is super important within your community, right? And also abroad. I think one of the best volunteering experiences I've had was when I was abroad in Haiti and I was giving primary care services a public health education in a rural area called Leogan. And so I was able to get a lot of personal skills and learn a lot from the community, especially since I'm also Haitian American. I thought I knew what it means to be Haitian and I actually don't like going into the country and learning from the people, right? Going in with the mindset that you're not there to, you know, be that savior complex, but you're there to learn and to be able to provide resources that they are saying that they need, not what you think they need, right? And so I think volunteering experience is super important within your local community, domestic wise, and also abroad internationally. Secondly, shadowing experience is super crucial. I think it's so important for you to be able to shadow a doctor, go into a hospital, even ask your primary care physician for when you go there for a weekly checkup, ask them, am I able to shadow you? Because I really want to, you know, enter the health field and I want to see if this is actually what I want. Can I come in even once a week? I remember I literally was going to a doctor's appointment with my um, my one of my family members and the nurse, me and the nurse were chatting up, doing all this, talking all this science. And I asked her, is there a way that I can shadow you? She's like, you can't shadow me, but I'll ask my friend who works at Boston Medical Center and we'll see what we can do. And after a couple of strings were pulled, I was shadowing a cardiologist, a pediatrician cardiologist, and I fell in love with it. I already knew I wanted to become a cardiologist and to just be able to enter and see firsthand what it means, it was such an eye-opening experience. Definitely, I would recommend shadowing someone if you can. It's super, super essential for you to see if this is the type of you know career that you wanna be able to dibble-dabble in. Third, if you want to learn more about the vocabulary of what it means, you know, in terms of the health field, be a medical scribe. You are literally a fly on the wall where you're just typing the notes of a doctor while they're watching a the patient. You're not really interacting with anyone. You're just literally looking. I'm just like typing. And then right. You're getting all this wealthy, rich knowledge to you as a doctor is just giving out all this exceptional advice to the patient and so i think it's a great way for you to you know get exposure again to see that patient doctor interaction another job i think would be phenomenal which i personally did and i love was being a medical assistant because i was interacting specifically with the patient i was the first person that they were able to see when they got into the room took their vitals i filled out their intake forms with them we talked about their health history they confided in me you know a lot of times you need that one extra step you know before you see that physician to feel comfortable and i was able to provide that comfortability for them so just you know dibble dabble in these type of areas before you you know dive in into wanting to be a doctor because it's ex it's super important for you to have you know exposure as much as possible to clarify that this is the field for you okay now on to the good stuff what was my internship at Webb Cornell Medical College? It was a Traveler Summer Research Fellowship Program. It was 
such an incredible program and it literally allowed me to do everything, right? I was able to do research, I was able to shadow, I was able to get clinical skills, I was able to do everything under the sun to learn. Uh, let me just, let me, let me roll back a little bit. All right, what is the Traveler Summer Research, Research Fellowship Program? It is a beautiful, amazing program designed for 25 pre-medical students who want a greater insight of when it comes to entering the medical field. And so in this program, you have 25 students all across the country, right, coming together, living in New York City for free, and they pay you. Uh, you get a stipend, okay? They can get a stipend. Well, my hair is popping up as we speak. No comment. <laughs> no comment. I got my hair straightened literally two days ago. No comment. Anyways, you have 25 students coming together and you, it's a cohort, guys. You guys are with one another and learning from one another and being able to be with like-minded individuals who care about medicine just like you. And did I mention that <laughs> it's a great program that allows minorities to come together? Yes, people who are first generation, low income, people who are minorities who might not have had the exposure of medicine, you're able to apply for this program. Yes, it's rigorous, but if you put your passion into it, if you write in that personal essay and you fill out those supplement questions and you let them see you, you can be chosen like I was. When I tell you this was the best experience of my life, I fell in love with New York City. I fell in love with the program. I met 24 other individuals. At least half of the people I'm still so close with, I go on trips with them, I visit them. So some of the women are going to come to my wedding one day, okay? So that's how amazing this program is because basically living with these people for 12 weeks, everyone is in a dorm, right? They pay you every week by the grace of God, okay? Because New York is expensive. So that stipend is nothing. So you have a stipend and then you have Thankfully, a faculty sponsor that you're partnered with, based on your interest, they partner you with a faculty sponsor who either does laboratory or clinical research for you. So you get first-hand clinical or laboratory research experience, skills that are so essential, right? Everyone has to do a 10-page research paper. Everyone also takes a series of lectures at Well Cornell Medical College taught by the physicians and the lecturers there at that school, which is incredible. So the lectures are focused on cardiovascular disease because cardiovascular disease is the number one killing disease in America. And unfortunately, it disproportionately impacts African Americans. And so this program does a great job of introducing health issues that disproportionately impacts underserved communities that are predominantly people of color. Not only do you have a series of lectures that are part of the cardiovascular disease, but you have other physicians and clinicians that are coming and talking to you about their roles in the hospital, talking about their journey in medicine, and you're really able to see people who look like you in the top highest positions, right, in the hospital. The chief of surgery when it comes to transplants is a black man. That was so essential for me to see because when I go into these places, and, and I'm not trying to exclude, right, exclude other people, but I'm trying to allow people to understand that when you are not the majority in the area that you are passionate about, it is discouraging. So to be able to see a black man in a position that you want to see yourself one day was such a pivotal moment for me. So not only are you able to be taught by these phenomenal physicians of color, but you're also able to talk to them about their personal lives in terms of their journey when it comes to getting into the medical field, right? In terms of succeeding. And not only that, but you're able to talk to the dean of the medical school. I was able to talk to the dean and they talked about what type of students that they're looking for. And the program director is also the dean of inclusion and diversity. Dean Ansi, I love you. She is my girl. If any of you guys watch this video and you end up getting accepted, tell her who Herlene Doss is. She literally has my number. I love that woman. Whenever someone says, oh, do you know Herlene Doss? She's like, Herlene! And I literally get a text from her saying, I just met someone that knows you. That is my, uh, that is someone I look up to with my entire heart. And so, yes, Dean Ansi, thank you for 
you know, taking the time to get to know me. And that's the amazing part about this program is that Dean Yancey, who is the director of the program, gets to know every single individual. She gets, she wants to be invested. She wants to know what you desire in order for you to get to the field that you want to go to. And through this program, you're able to go to so many different conferences as well and meet so many other individuals. I literally met one of my mentors there who has helped me so much, Doreen, oh my gosh. Shout out to Doreen who was by my side. I literally meet with her whenever I go to New York City. She is someone who is so special to me because she has seen me cry. She has helped me when it comes to you know studying for the MCAT and secondaries. And I've had multiple mentors who've helped me, but Doreen has just been such an anchor. Her and Rachel, who I met at Brandeis, and Joelle and I met a couple of people who like this. Anyways, this program introduced me to one of my mentors. This program introduced me to a faculty sponsor who also has been able to mentor me as well and wrote me a recommendation letter for medical school. Okay. So that's how important it is. If you have a great relationship with your faculty sponsor, you could have a medical school recommendation letter at the end of this. I specifically did a retrospective study design on the effects of esophageal stents in cancer patients and if they're actually, you know, helping them have a better quality of life. And I was not only did I learn skills of how to collect data and how to, you know, learn how to pick out certain information from research articles, but I also was able to shadow and I'm able to see like what I was reading be applied in real life. And that was such an incredible experience. So when it comes to the TSRF program, not only are you going to lectures where you're being taught medical school, medical school courses and on cardiovascular disease, not only are you meeting physicians and you're meeting people in the medical school, deans who can literally tell you how to become successful, tell you about their journey and make you feel like you belong. Not only are you being introduced to other people in the medical field who can be your mentors and these conferences are filled with motivational speakers who are moving you, tugging at your heart. Not only are you, you know, getting research and clinical experience, but you're doing this with 24 other individuals who are like-minded. You're doing this with people who you essentially can cry to and understand you in a different level because they had to try as hard as you to get into this program, right? Honestly, guys, it was such an amazing program. I was able to dibble dabble on everything and come out on time. <laughs> but it was such an essential program for me because I already knew I wanted to become a cardiologist, but this just solidified it, it confirmed it. I was able to get such an enriched experience from my cohort who is incredible, from the individuals who I met, from the deans who saw something in me. You know, it's important for you to be a part of a program that sees something in you and you take something away from it. And even if you, you know, probably don't like the research that you're doing, if you end up doing a different type of program, just make sure you're learning something from that faculty sponsor. You're learning something from that mentor. You're learning something from that director of the program because, you know, it's essential that you take any good that you can from any experience because it will make you a better person and help you evolve to get to where you need to go to. So I hope this video was informative. I will drop the link of where you can find the application of the Well Cornell Medical College. But all I just wanna say is that internships are essential because like I said, it helps you solidify where you want to be in life in terms of the medical field or any field, right? And so I hope you guys apply to Well Cornell Medical College Traveler Summer Reacher Fellowship Program. TSRF, thank you for making me fall in love with medicine all over again. I'll be back with another Medicine Monday video next week.